Drew McIntyre made his return at Money in the Bank. Long-awaited return, I should say. Very much missed on Monday Night Raw. And it looks like he's going to be heading towards a collision course with Gunther at SummerSlam for the Intercontinental Championship. The question is, is Drew McIntyre going to be the one to take down Gunther and end his historic Intercontinental Championship reign? You know, we have speculated a ton that Gunther is going to possibly win next year's Royal Rumble and challenge whoever is the World Heavyweight Champion in Raw's main event at WrestleMania 40 next year. But before we can even think about that, we got to focus on Gunther's Intercontinental Championship reign because I don't want to speak for any of you, but I personally don't see Gunther also being the Intercontinental Champion, also winning the Royal Rumble, and then also winning the world title. Like, he's got to lose the IC title first, then move on. And there's no shame in that one loss. He has lost before. He lost the NXT United Kingdom Championship after, I think, like an 870, I think I'm on point with that, day reign to Ilya Dragunov. Like, he's lost before. He's not indestructible. But one loss isn't going to damage him going into that, you know, possible big main event next year, WrestleMania. He's got to lose the title eventually, right? And in my opinion, there is multiple legit contenders who beat Guther for the Intercontinental Championship across Raw and SmackDown and even NXT as a whole, not just focusing on Raw specific roster right now, but looking at Drew McIntyre, a member of Monday Night Raw, immediately coming back and inserting himself in the Intercontinental title program, yes, McIntyre catapults, not catastrophic, catapults himself to the top of the list as legit guys to beat Guther and become the Intercontinental Champion. But honestly, before we even get into that and before we even talk about SummerSlam, the thing is... Gunther needs to go past, I have the day here, September 7th to break the Honky Tonk Man. I can't believe the Honky Tonk Man, no disrespect of all people, holds the longest reigning uh, or longest reign for the Intercontinental Championship. But he's about to, about to not have that. Can I talk? Regardless, Gunther needs to go past September the 7th to break that reign and become the longest reigning Intercontinental Champion of all time. And if anybody is like gonna do it, you're already this far. Why wouldn't you have Gunther break the Intercontinental Championship reign? I mean, it just makes the most sense. However, if he loses the title at SummerSlam, well, then he's fallen a month short. So we're kind of in this predicament where, like, is McIntyre just going to come back just to lose to Gunther at SummerSlam? Or are they just not going to have Gunther break that Intercontinental Championship reign and possibly give that title to somebody else down the line? I don't know. Because I could very much see McIntyre walking into SummerSlam one-on-one -on -one with Gunther Gonna have a banger matchup, probably one of the best matches of 2023, guaranteed for the Intercontinental title. And beating Gunther on that big stage, Ford Field, former home of WrestleMania, it's gonna be a lit show, right? McIntyre has a legit chance at beating Gunther for the Intercontinental title. And I would not mind it at all. As much as I want to say, and it just makes the most sense, Gunther break that Intercontinental Championship record. Like, if he doesn't, it is what it is. Like, records really don't mean the most to me like that's great Roman Reigns has held the championship for over 1,000 days and obviously it's like insane and I you know I not no pun intended but I acknowledge that but like it's not really doing too much for me as a viewer like Roman's great 1,000 days or not Guther's great breaking this reign or breaking this record or not you know what I mean and I just have trouble seeing McIntyre again coming back just to immediately lose to Gunther at SummerSlam like obviously it's not like a detriment to Drew McIntyre like he can come back and live to fight another day and how they could build a whole story around McIntyre he failed at Clash of the Castle to beat Roman Reigns he failed to uh, win the Intercontinental Championship at WrestleMania this year he failed to defeat Gunther one-on-one -on -one for the Intercontinental title at SummerSlam and then maybe that's the catalyst to what we've been talking about for months here on the channel McIntyre turning heel and possibly going after the World Heavyweight Championship. And I know some people may be like, well, how's he going to lose to Guther and the Intercontinental title and somehow end up in the World Title scene? I'm not saying immediately. I'm just saying maybe that's the catalyst or something down the line. Or maybe it's not the World Title. Maybe it's just McIntyre turning heel eventually. Like here, here's the idea, honestly, that I think now that I'm starting to say it out loud, I'm getting in my head. I could almost see McIntyre having this redemption storyline that doesn't go well, so then it causes him to just blow up and turn heel. And I think he could maybe turn heel on the guy who beats Gunther for the Intercontinental Championship after September the 7th, whenever that may be, most likely before the end of the year. Taking Drew McIntyre out of the equation, taking Sheamus out of the equation, because obviously he's on SmackDown, but that is a guy that people have wanted to see dethrone Gunther. And just looking at Monday Night Raw and also NXT, I would love to see, we talked about this over a month ago, I would love to see Ilya Dragunov come up to the main roster 
and repeat history. The same man who took down Gunther and ended his historic NXT United Kingdom Championship reign is the same man who ends Gunther's historic Intercontinental Championship reign. Ilya Dragunov gets called up from NXT. You can do this after SummerSlam. That way you have some time to build him up on Raw. Gets called up from NXT, debuts on Raw, and ends up being once again the kryptonite to a historic Gunther Championship reign. I think the story just writes itself. Dragunov can come up after SummerSlam. Gunther can retain at SummerSlam. McIntyre's just kind of going like insane in his head, and we see that on Monday Night Raw. Gunther holds the Intercontinental Championship past September the se or yeah, past September the 7th, and I believe Payback's actually like a few days before that. So past Payback as well. And then maybe at Survivor Series this year. Big show, right? We get Gunther versus Ilya Dragunov one on one for the Intercontinental Championship. And of course, the big story going into this is going to be the fact that, and that, correct me if I'm wrong, but is that Gunther's only loss in the WWE? Was that one, not count like singles loss, not counting like Imperium six man tags or anything, but like, is that his only loss one on one in WWE? Could somebody tell me in the comments? Because I know he hasn't lost many times at all and that may be the only one so obviously the story leading up to survivor series if it were to happen in this little fantasy booking would be dragon has been the kryptonite to guther in the past is he going to be that again and then at survivor series he does dethrone guther and become the intercontinental champion and from there we then get guther moving on heading in towards the royal rumble in january winning the damn thing and going on to fight whoever is the world heavyweight champion seth rollins damian priest your mom my mom for the world heavyweight title at wrestlemania 40 and then uh, let's get serious now we have Ilya dragunov heading into wrestlemania 40 as the intercontinental champion and who's chasing him a newly turned heel fired up fire breathing son of a bitch Drew McIntyre and McIntyre dethrones Dragunov for the championship at WrestleMania. I think that'd be absolutely beautiful and just give us some banger matches throughout this awesome story. And the best part about that whole thing is, is I just came up with it on the spot. And that's why I never write a single note for these videos. We just hit record and go. And that's why you guys get the best of me each and every video. You're welcome. Yeah. In all seriousness, though, no, like Guther has beaten a lot of guys. Like I threw out the idea in my Money in the Bank predictions that Guther could beat Riddle, which is then the catalyst to Randy Orton coming back and challenging Guther for the Intercontinental Championship at SummerSlam. And maybe Orton would have a shot in hell because he's because he's Randy Orton, obviously, at beating Guther. But like most likely not going to happen, right? And then just like Ilya Dragunov, you can look at NXT. You know, Braun Breaker's been rumored for an NXT, or I should say main roster call-up for a while. I know he's a heel, and he's honestly been great as a heel. So figure out that as you may, but maybe Breaker being that guy to dethrone Guther would put him over huge on the main roster. But like, honestly... McIntyre, Sheamus, and Ilya Dragunov, regardless of brands I'm just talking overall, are like the three guys that stick out the most as the guys who take down Gunther. And I think how I laid it out just the, makes the most sense. And you know what? Honestly, the best part about how I laid it out with, with, with Dragunov beating Gunther, McIntyre beating Dragunov at WrestleMania next year, that leads us right into next year's draft where McIntyre and Sheamus can end up on the sh same show again. And then we can build to McIntyre versus Sheamus at next year's SummerSlam or whatever the hell where Sheamus can beat but you know his best friend the guy he's had all this history with and finally win the intercontinental championship in his career like i think that's just a beautiful story four guys like from gunther to drag it off to mcintyre to sheamus like that's just the intercontinental championship soul right there man put me on the booker put me on the creative team man i just booked this shit from SummerSlam to SummerSlam, who's doing it better? Nonetheless, it's freaking getting hot in here, but Gunther McIntyre most likely gonna be on the card at SummerSlam, and that's basically how I would see the Intercontinental story going over the next few months, how I would fantasy book it into the next year. This this video honestly went a little bit off the rails as to what I thought it was gonna be, but whatever, that's again what we do. We have fun, we have fun! But let me know down below in the comments, who do you guys wanna see take down Gunther for the Intercontinental Championship? Do you guys wanna see McIntyre do it at SummerSlam and, you know, screw the right or screw the record do you want to see guther see or i should say break that record in september do you guys want to see Dragonov come to the main roster do you want to guther to hold that championship through wrestlemania possibly be intercontinental champ and world champ let me know what you guys want to see down below in the comments but until then until we see what happens be sure to like comment and subscribe go follow me on instagram twitter and tiktok at no nation vlogs and i'll see you guys in the next video peace